Broki Hawa Brakatha Yehawasha Broki Hawa Brakatha Yehawasha Ba Hashem Rakakwadash. The honors to the apostles, the elders, salutations to you, sincere brothers, teaching and truth and sincerity. Lesson will be entitled Addressing the Common Board. Lord Will, you are edified. This question comes from Tawabia 48. Shalom, bro. I was wondering when the 10 tribes came over here to keep the statues, did they bring any Levites with them? I was asking because if they came over here to keep laws, wouldn't they bring the priests with them? And the answer to your questions are no and no. And let's prove that. Okay. So let's go to... 1 Kings chapter 12 and verse 25. Then Jeroboam built Shechem in Mount Ephraim and dwelt there and went out from there and built Penuel. Jeroboam and the Hebrew, Strong's H3379, pronounced as Yarab Ima, right? And a brief description on the first king of the northern kingdom going into the split after the death of Solomon. The first king of the northern kingdom, the ten tribes, right, of Israel when the kingdom split at the death of Solomon and the ten tribes split off from Judah and Benjamin and the kingdom under Solomon's son Rehoboam Idolatry was introduced at the beginning of his reign, right? So the southern kingdom followed Rehoboam and the northern kingdom followed Jeroboam. Verse 26, and Jeroboam said in his mind, now shall the kingdom return to the house of David. If this people, the northern kingdom tribes, go up to do sacrifice in the house of Yahweh at Jerusalem, then shall the mind of this people turn again unto their Lord, even unto Rehoboam, king of Judah. And they shall kill me and go again to Rehoboam, king of Judah. Verse 28, whereupon the king took counsel and made two calves of gold and said unto them it is too much for you to go up to Jerusalem behold your gods O Israel which brought you up out of the land of Egypt and he set the one in Bethel and the other put he in Dan and this thing became a sin for the people went to worship before the one even unto Dan and he made an it's like, and he made an house of high places and made priests of the lowest of the people, which were not of the sons of Levi. So, 31 is the answer to your question. Jeroboam, okay, made priests out of the tribes of the northern kingdom and not the Levites, okay? Again, and he made an house of high places and made priests of the lowest of the people. So these priests came out of one of the ten tribes or all of the ten tribes or some of the ten tribes within the northern kingdom, which were not of the sons of Levi. Okay, so no, the Levites, all right, did not come with the northern kingdom to assist with the priesthood all right so let's go to second Ezra's chapter 13 and 40 those are the 10 tribes which were carried away prisoners out of their own land in the time of Hosea the king whom Solomon Nasser the fifth the king of Assyria led away captive and he carried them over the waters, and so came they into another land, Aseroth, going into the Americas, North, South, and Central America. But they took this counsel among themselves, right, the Northern Kingdom, that they will leave 
the multitude of the heathen and go forth into a further country where never mankind dwelt, that they might there keep their statues, which they never kept in their own land. So, of course, they meant well, but when they got to the Americas, they still went off. Okay, period. Look at that movie, I want to say, um, Apocalyptical. Apocalypse. Uh, shit, I think it's pronounced as Apocalyptical or something. But anyway, check out that movie. And it shows you all the idolatry worship that the Northern Kingdom did. Okay? That's a lucky for the pronunciation. Um, verse 42 that they might there keep their statues, which they never kept in their own land. And they enter into Euphrates by the narrow places of the river, for the Most High then showed signs for them and held still the flood till they were passed over. And this is around the African, that area identified as the African Horn is where the Most High held still the flood. Verse 45 for through that country there was a great way to go, namely of a year and a half, and the same region is called Osaroth, which means another land. Then dwelt Slakia. Then dwelt they there until the latter time, and now when they shall begin to come, right? And now when they shall begin to come, it's talking about what? The southern kingdom coming over. All right. Hosea 4 and 17. Ephraim is joined to idols. Let him alone. Okay? So, of course, this is also symbolic for the northern kingdom tribes as well because Ephraim is the head of the northern kingdom tribes. Right? So, Ephraim is joined to idols. Let him alone. And this further supports how the northern kingdom, okay, basically continue to... Um, participate in idol worship, okay? So, Lord Will, this was an um, edifying lesson, just brief to, brief to the point. Shalom.